What's up my party people, it's your boy Darshan Smith back again for another video in today's topic of the podcast. We're going to be talking about the productivity trap, okay? Um, to be 100% honest with you, just to address like what was going on in the last episode, uh, if you watched the video on YouTube, um, I don't know what's going on with like my little cam link recorder that like records the video. I was just trying to do some tests just now. And I was trying to do some tests uh, earlier in the week as well. And I, I don't know if it's like, is, is my like CPU or something being overworked and it's just recording slow? Or is it uh, something else uh, like the recorder is broke itself? I do know that it, it did get like moved a little funny. But like right now, the video looks good. You know, like on the screen, I noticed like when it's starting to mess up, I start my video feed starts lagging and it's like, like when I talk, I'm not talking on the screen. It's almost instant, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, that's beyond this. Uh, you'll know if it's not working because you'll see my logo in the haha, we'll be right back or whatever, you know? But it's working right now. So let's talk about the, you know, the productivity trap. Um, what really inspired this was me watching a YouTube video about this, but more so it was the cult of productivity. And I do want to uh, also like reference this video. It's from the you know creator How Money Works on YouTube, and uh, they're just talking about you know working harder will not make you rich. You know what I'm saying? And I think this is something that we often forget in life, but also just like now nowadays in the 21st century, you know, it just as you know Americans especially, but uh, a lot of people just all around the world. You know, we're working more hours, we're working harder than ever, we're doing this and that, like what's a work-life balance, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and we're not being successful, you know, we're not becoming, you know, wealthy, or like even if you wanna live a normal life, and you know, have a normal job with some kids, family, a dog, the white picket fence, you know, like how that's become like unobtainable for so many people, like that's what I wanna chat about today. And some of the points that were talked about in that uh video as well you know i made sure to screenshot some and just you know just you know provide some commentary from my perspective as well because you know i fall into the productivity trap um one of the things i always find that i always find interesting especially like when uh the creator you know mentioned it in this video is that like within a business like working more or being more productive sometimes can get you fired because like it may mean you know you're like focused more on like the individual task at hand or like focusing up on your productivity um may inadvertently you know affect the whole team uh in some way shape form or fashion or maybe it'll make you resistant to change if something needs to you know happen in, in terms of change and that's something that uh can get you fired and make the company less money because they want people who are more likely to work together or who are more likely to fall in line uh sometimes you know what i'm saying so like that, that it's it's something interesting you don't really think about but i think about these things and it's just like dang like can you imagine getting fired because you're being too productive or rather not getting a promotion because you're doing the work of three people in that lower job uh so like it'd be so hard to replace you or it would cost the company so much more money to replace you it's not even worth elevating you like they probably should so that's why it's like the productivity trap because it's like i can't win either way you know if i'm working too well i'm gonna get fired because i can't work well with the team but if i'm working too well i also won't get the promotion because they can't replace me <laughs> with someone else on the team you know what I'm saying? like it's it's like how can you win and I, I, I really just say this because, and it's like making me think right now, a lot of things like going on in my life are really like this. Like, I'm not saying I, I'm super ultra mega productive or I've even paid for a lot of these paid courses. Like th that's what a, a lot of this video was about. 
was going out uh or not not going out against but like going at the creator economy within the productivity like universe and how it's all like get rich quick or this or that or buy this thousand dollar course you know the tyler lopez the grant cardones the all of that versus like the financial uh youtubers and things of that nature and how it's just all a, a, a few very lucky rich folks just trying to get even richer uh living off the dreams goals and aspirations of the average common day folk mom and pop you know the dude sally over there whatever just trying to learn how to run their business better or learn a, a side hustle so they can actually make some money outside of their day job or what have you you know and i think that this productivity trap is really hurting a lot of people but it's also the way this world is designed to work you know what i'm saying uh the matrix we say that being said you know n you know to keep with the structure of this podcast we will continue talking about this because like i said i have uh you know screenshots uh that i also want to you know just talk about i don't think i'm gonna overlay them because i'm just gonna provide my own you know feedback on them but i say all that to say um the matrix at planet fitness you know the gym i go to to work out uh all of the equipment for the most part are the matrix you know equipment so every time i'm like working out or i'm like ah, i don't want to do like two more or something like that i just look at that and i'm like i'm escaping the matrix right now like i'm i'm making myself stronger you know what i'm saying i'm getting in shape you know what i'm saying i'm doing something positive you know what i'm saying i'm trying to better my life you know due to lifestyle change eat better you know exercise more and just you know level up you know because that's what it's all about so i think i've said you know what i'm saying like so many times in the last minute so i'm just gonna try and say different words but all that being said life's great man not for the iowa hawkeyes but i love my team uh i posted a youtube video last night it's like 20 minutes long or whatever it's like a consecutive video it's like the total emotional roller coaster of what it's like to be an iowa hawkeye fan if you want to see that firsthand with that like amazing game winning punt return that got called back oh my god abs oh, oh i'm not even mad i'm just i'm just disappointed man that officiating crew hats off to you man i know y'all had the under but y'all ain't got to do us like that okay but it is what it is so back onto this topic because you know we can keep talking about the personal life forever uh and i i did that purposefully because normally I, I like to start with that you know what i'm saying but i talked about that seven minutes in because the productivity trap is real you know what i'm saying i'm out here talking about my life you know i'm out here talking about um uh, not what we were supposed to be talking about because most people in like this is one of the, the one of the talking points that was in this video uh most people who work like an eight hour job uh a day or whatever only end up working an average of like two hours and 33 minutes of like focused work or something like that so it's like what are you actually doing for the rest of the time you know, you're low-key, like, and I, I fall victim to this, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when I'm at campus dispatching, like, I'm low-key working on posting an Instagram video, or I'm reading a book, or I'm taking notes on, like, you know, how to get my commercial drone pilot's license or something like that. Like, and I'm not, I'm not always focused on, like, oh, where's this red route going, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, how can I optimize this route? You know, most times I am, but sometimes, you know, I got other things going on in my life that I want to uh, handle as well and same thing goes here you know we're not always focused on our work like we were literally just talking having a good conversation for seven consecutive minutes and then out of nowhere out of left field was like fam okay here's this uh random story off topic now we got to get back up there somehow but no i'm darshan smith okay um i fall victim to the productivity trap myself but that's why i'm telling you that it's okay to not be productive sometimes you know and it's crazy because some of your productive moments or some of your most productive moments will come from when you're being least productive like thinking about new ideas for like a business or new ideas for uh you know merchandise or something to a trip to take something to say to get that girl's phone number like 
whatever you know what i'm saying like like when you have some of your most creative thoughts in life you're often like not doing much okay and that's by design you know humans were not designed to be go 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 like 20 hours plus in a day you know what i'm saying there's a reason why we only work eight hours but like we didn't even used to do that like you know we used to like work really really hard and i'm talking like back in the day day you know what i'm saying like back before we domesticated animals like yeah we had to like work really hard to like gather some food and maybe grow a couple crops here and there for like some of the year but we also had moments where we could just genuinely spend elongated times with our families or roaming the earth or going to war or whatever you know what i'm saying like we had time to do other things so we can provide like our minds freedom to like roam and actually think of new technology or you know better ways to create medicine or just coexist or enslave us okay like like we we literally look i know that last point was kind of kind of tough but you get the point we we had more time to actually go out and think of new ideas because we allowed ourselves the time to do nothing you know we allowed ourselves the time to not air quotes be productive and i think that's something that especially i struggle with because it's like oh i want to do i want to do this i want to do that i want to get rich i want to make my business grow by 20 percent this month or whatever like that it's less it's just like wow like sometimes you need to like take a step back go to spray paint by the cornfield darshan and like just get your mind off of what you're doing so you could look at it from an outside perspective and be like dang like maybe the reason this isn't going well right now is because i'm not marketing right maybe the reason why you can't sell yo uh whatever uh i'm trying to think of something uh i don't know like some the reason why you can't sell your services okay fill in the blank we'll, we'll make it apply to all uh business folk is because that you're i, I lost the point okay like whatever you get <laughs> uh it is 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 because uh you know you're just not allowing yourself the time to do nothing you know you're not allowing yourself the time to think and i think that's the main point i'm trying to get at here and especially i think that's the productivity trap is because it's just so much consume 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 but no like synthesizing of that information this gets me back into a podcast episode i made quite some time ago and i referenced this podcast episode all the freaking time because i honestly think it was one of the best episodes i've ever made in terms of like the topic in which was talked about and i'm trying to find my podcast right now so i can like go back and look at it let me let me let me search this up real quick okay um it's the episode is called the kids creator versus consumer mindset i'm pretty sure whoa where where where's this at okay um hey i literally talked about do these four easy tips and tricks to overcome procrastination today that's episode 92 um where is this okay as we're talking about this i really do hope uh things are going all right in your life you know what i'm saying i hope you're staying positive and i hope you're just you know doing what you can to get by in life okay yes you know we're talking about the productivity trap and things of that nature but like i'm not gonna lie you know to be successful you gotta work hard in life but you can't work hard if you don't allow yourself the time to even you know think of something that you could grind to get to that next level or if things aren't working out for you you need to go back to the drawing board and sometimes you just need to go like work a normal job for a little bit so you can save up a little bit of funds and then re-attack it don't give up quitting is where most people fail falling down and then getting back up there's nothing wrong with that okay that's just normal life you know for a successful person you're gonna fail you but you really fail the average person not the average person but most you you actually fail when you fail air, air quotes and you don't get back up but that being said i found the episode it's uh episode 77 of my podcast arguably one of the best episodes i've ever made and i'm gonna talk about it again now i do want to make like i want to get 
like some business owners on or whatever and just talk about this as well but that's why the productivity trap is so like real for so many people is because it's the consumer mindset versus the creator mindset the reason why so many people aren't successful and the reason why a lot of people fall into this productivity mindset or the cult of you know productivity or trying to optimize themselves or get that second job or that second side hustle or this or that is because you know they have a consumer mindset and not a creator mindset you know it's so much like oh let me pay for this course so i can learn this information but uh maybe that's not working so i'll go watch these youtube videos before i act on something or this and that and it's just like bro like you have all of this information in your head and you're just not doing nothing with it like why do you think you're going to be successful you know what i'm saying that's why like when i started my business you know what i'm saying like like, uh, like a year ago but like legally like a month ago or whatever um i just i was just winging it bro i didn't go to college for this like most people who are successful didn't go to college for this and i it's crazy like i was talking to you know some people on the media team or just people who actually got marketing degrees or whatever you know and they're like bro like everything i do in my current job i did not learn in college like i got a degree in this and everything i'm doing right now in the actual real world i did not learn in college like it was a waste but you need the paper to say like you know what you're doing which is so beyond me but i say all that to say that you can have the knowledge but if you don't act what's the point you know what i'm saying that's that's like your number one fault in and of itself and i think largely that's why a lot of people fall into the productivity trap is because you're just consuming all day you know what i'm saying me consuming this video was inspiration to think about stuff to talk about here you know what i'm saying yes i'm like building off of ideas that were here already um but i'm you know synthesizing my own viewpoints i'm talking about my own personal stories i'm applying it to myself and as my podcast description says uh this is a glorified personal story at the end of the day so it's 100 percent factual i'm just saying uh i'm 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 gonna say i'm just lying of course uh, but that being said yeah what do you think about this you know do you fall into the productivity trap you know do you think that you are being too productive in your business and do you even recognize and understand that you can take some time off okay like this is this is one of the things that helped me level up the most in the last like couple months especially being out of college is that like sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is nothing you know what i'm saying sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is saying no sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is to go to the middle of a cornfield and spray paint so your mind can be free so you can think of better ideas and topics and things of that nature so that when you hit the gym again or so that when you hit that business room again or so when you sit down at your desk in front of your computer with the goal of making more money or whatever you can actually do it because you've had time to let your mind roam and be free and think of new ideas think of new things to try think of how am i going to apply that information i've been consuming my whole life into something that can really elevate me to the next level that's what it's all about and that's what i really am trying to do myself and that's most importantly what i hope you can do for yourself as well because what's the point of having all of this information if you're not going to use it you know what i'm saying what's the point of paying for all of these productivity courses if you're not going to actually use the dang course you know what i'm saying what's the point of watching this podcast or listening to this podcast or you know i know not too many people you know interact with me but hey i can promote that last episode and they got 20 views on youtube you know people listening to it on pandora and all that so that we got a little bit of viewership thank you for you know checking it out that being said what are you gonna do watching someone else's productivity podcast or learning about how this person started their business or this or that if you're not gonna like do it yourself I know that not everyone wants to be rich, famous, and successful. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone in this world wants to become the 1%. You know, some people just tune in because they want to escape their daily life. Like I said, let their mind roam. Let them do something completely else outside of their normal 9 to 5. But some people out here really want the opposite. They want to be in the 1%. They want to be rich. They want to be famous. They want to be known. They want to have a legacy. You know, they, they want to have that successful business. They want to have that really attractive partner. They want to have, you know, the kids, the big house, the dogs, the cats, all of it. You know what I'm saying? They want the whole shebang. But like a lot of people out here are not acting in a manner that will actually get them there. 
you can consume all you want, but if you don't create, you're not gonna you're not gonna get there. But the real kicker is, and the thing I didn't talk about in that episode, that when I do a part two of that, uh, the consumer versus uh, no, yeah, the consumer versus creator mindset is that like you need to allow yourself to actually think about what you just consumed, but don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. That's the part I really left out, and that's where most people who are finally trying to transition get stuck don't get stuck keep going okay i once had someone uh who said this it, i, I want to say like deon sanders but it, it wasn't deon sanders it, it was some other person they were just talking about um like like when you're going through tough times or whatever like if you're going through hell like why would you stop you know because then you're just guaranteed to be stuck there you know what i'm saying like keep going like if you fail get up okay if you don't get up it's only gonna get worse you know what i'm saying so that's that's what it's all about okay i'm gonna end the episode there uh i keep saying you know what i'm saying too much but whatever i think i've talked about this um last couple things i want to talk about this is now we're declining uh you know other other things you know that are going on is uh or that i want to talk about related to that video i referenced uh, the hustle mindset, you know, the gr uh, I made another podcast episode about the uh, grind culture, you things of that nature. Please do check that out. Um, but also, you know, just remember that when you're taking time off from like your job or your business or whatever to get to work, things of that nature, you're also allowing yourself to not get distracted. You know what I'm saying? If you need to like delete Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Delete YouTube. That's something I probably need to do. I'm not going to lie, but I try to if I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, I'm gonna watch a video that's like, oh, how to you know use Photoshop better, and I just use that. Hey, call me a graphic designer, okay? Uh, I'm about to. I I just literally am, I'm in the process of making a calendar, uh, like a Canvas calendar, and like, hey, it's almost done. People like the draft, so uh, I'm about to be a published graphic designer. Didn't go to college for that. Learned I learned that off YouTube. So look alive for that. I'm adding that to my resume. Photoshop's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And plus, Photoshop AI, woo, don't sleep on it. There were a couple pictures that I took that were like, ah, they were almost there, and I was like, we just need to like generative fill a little bit more, and then you could like crop it, fade it, overlay it, and just add the text. And yeah, it's cool, man. Wait, 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 wait till you see it. Okay, I say all that to say that there are a lot of distractions out here. Literally, that's what I just did right now. I got distracted on the side thoughts. I got distracted on my passionate ability for graph. For graphic design now you know what i'm saying um but I, I say all that to say that you know distractions like instagram you know sometimes it's people in the in the in the real world you know your partner your friends wanting to hang out go to the club or what have you you know like it's all distractions and sometimes especially if you're under the age of 30 meaning you're in your 20s uh meaning you're a very young adult uh i had someone say once like you know 20 years old you're like a zero year old adult Okay, I'm 22, so that means I'm, I'm a two-year-old adult, and um, th this is the time to really, like, focus up, you know, this is the time to really build something, you know what I'm saying, this is the time to be the person you, like, want to be in your 40s, like, today, like, work, work hard at it every day, don't forget to take a break, though, and not to, like, go to the club and get, you know, drunk out your mind, I mean, take a break so you can evaluate yourself and then, you know, hit the grindstone again and then get better okay but i say all that to say that you know the productivity cult the productivity trap it's real out here but it's really just the consumer versus creator mindset and a lot of folks just get it stuck in analysis paralysis that's the short way of saying it but i say all that to say that you know get to work you know at the end of the day you can intake as much information as you want but if you don't get to work what's the point you can intake as much information as you want but if you get stuck in the oh, i don't i don't know what my logo is gonna look like before i start. i technically don't have a logo started my business um i made money you know i sent out a real invoice it got paid <laughs> you know what i'm saying like wow this this is crazy uh you know it's you, you you just gotta you just gotta figure it out and a lot of people who want to be you know successful in that one percent category or what have you like y'all just don't have the personality for this you know what i'm saying and you, you got to change you got to change your lifestyle you got to cut some people out you got to be able to like do some things the average person ain't trying to do in life because that's 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 this you know being being successful is deviant you know what i'm saying 
and uh, you got to be able to advocate for yourself. You got to be able to post some content or whatever online and get absolutely obliterated uh, by, you know, some haters or some news folk being like, that's controversial or what have you. And, you know, potentially take an L, you know what I'm saying? But so much, so many people are so scared of the embarrassment or so scared of whatever. And it's just like, bro, like you just, you just got to focus on you and have tunnel vision. Everyone's going to be on your team when it works out. But when you grinding, you, you're going you gonna to see who your real supporters are. So keep on rocking with those who are rocking with you. Thank you for rocking with me. 25 minutes on the episode on the Positivity Hour today, okay? This has been the, you know, Productivity Trap, okay, by Darshawn Smith. This has been a Darshawn Smith production. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, unsubscribe, hit, comment, follow, unfollow, share, report. I don't care what you do. As long as you're staying positive, man. That's all you can do, okay? Just keep doing your best out here. Keep trying. Never give up. Life is life, okay? Life is incredibly fair. I, I've, I've realized this more and more as I'm growing up, and that's probably what the next episode is going to be like. It, it may seem like it's unfair, but like, hey, hey it's, it's cause and effect. With every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you want to change what's happening to you, you got to change your situation. You got to change your vibrations because life is fair. You get what you give. Okay, we gone, y'all. We gone. Woo! Bonk. My camera is so hot when I just touched it right there. Oh, my God.